we went to church. We didn't have a car. We had horses. And they'd hook up a wagon, and we'd ride in a wagon to church. Mm-hmm. Now, sometimes when they'd have reunion at Matthew's church where Mom and Dad went, once a year we'd go. We just got to go one time a year to church. They'd eat out on the ground, and they had an arbor in behind the church. It didn't have tables under it. It had a platform where they preached in the benches. I can remember walking around this spring. They said it was a deep spring. Boy, the Lord sure did watch after us because I couldn't swim if I would have fell in there. It was a deep spring. You could get water and they had cement around it and we would walk around there. But I remember that and we would go and then some of the mom's people and all of them would have me and Mary to stand up because we was twins. <laughs> I remember that. I used to dread that. But he did. He read the Bible every night. And some nights I miss, but I try to. And I can sleep a lot better when I read my Bible. It just gives me a joy to know that I'm reading the Word of God. He did. He read the Bible by lamp every night. And I can remember we'd spend all night with uh, Grandpa. Mom and Dad was still living then. We'd spend all night and we'd sleep on pallets at their house on a quilt. They, they called them pallets, but it was quilts put down on the floor in the pillow, and we slept there. I never did see my Grandpa on Dad's side because he took pneumonia when my Daddy was in service. He said he was 19 when he passed away. I never did see him and my mother's mother I never did see her I don't know what happened to her I can't remember uh, mom telling what happened but I seen my grandfather on my mother's side Yeah, and I remember when Doc was born, because she was just, I was 10 years old when Doc was born. I remember that now. They never did talk about him by being pregnant, so we just didn't know, or didn't notice or something, I don't know what. When my first memory, I guess, when I went to school, I can't remember back before I started the school, and I didn't like school. <laughs> Mom would make us fried ham and stickies. I don't know where you've ever heard of them or not, but she put butter and sugar and, and rolled them up in a thing and baked them in the oven, and we carried them. And anyway, I in the first grade and. This boy had a cracker, peanut butter on crackers, and I had never seen a cracker before. I really had never seen a cracker, and I hadn't tasted peanut butter. I traded with him that big old ham biscuit. Oh my, and she always made good ham biscuit for a peanut butter and cracker sandwich. <laughs> and the teacher called us. I remember that now. I remember that. She called us. I forgot what she done. <laughs> that was my first remembering. Had a rough time going to school. People made fun of me because we wore welfare dresses and coats. And kids who knew what they looked like and they would make fun of us. That's the best. I mean, they done the best they could do because we didn't have lights. We didn't have water. We had a spring. We never did go hungry. And we had clothes. I thank the Lord now for uh, welfare clothes that we had. Well, Mom would make some. You used to get flour in these sacks that had have, cloth sacks. And sometimes she'd make a dress mm-hmm, for us. But, but most of them wore those welfare clothes. And then uh, coats was uh, brown corduroy. And I've never liked brown corduroy since. I'm, I wouldn't never buy one because <laughs> it'd remind me of people making and a green corduroy. That learned me to be thankful for things. And the Lord sure has blessed me triple time because it really learns you to be thankful when you, you know, have to grow up like that. But there's 11 children of us and that was a hard time. We didn't get nothing.
I said, when I get to heaven, I want to meet that janitor. He was a black man, and he was so kind because oh, they used to jump rope back then. Uh, you know, they'd have these long ropes, and you'd stand in line to jump rope. And we, uh, when me and Mary would get there, the thing had stopped turning, and we'd go off to the steps. They had big old steps there, and I remember a lot of time crying there at that steps. And that a man janitor seen us, and he would give us a penny, and you could buy a BB bat back then. They'd be on top of each other for a penny, and it's large, and we and we'd get that. He'd give that to us, and that, that's the only candy <laughs> candy we would get only at Christmas. For Christmas, we would get an orange and a great big peppermint, straight peppermint candy. It was large. It was bigger than your thumb. I remember that. It was large, or to us. Us, it would look large. We'd get orange and, and a peppermint candy. But mom kept sweet stuff. She uh, made uh, she made those stickies and she'd make cookies and, and stuff. We had sweets. We just didn't have uh, we didn't have a ball sweet. I ne went, never had seen a, a Coke or nothing. I never seen a Coke or Mary had neither. We went back to uh, well it was Lula, my sister-in-law's house. We went back to her to play with her daughter. They they had a Coke and, and they told us, said, now, we had never seen a Coca-Cola before. And and they said, now, you have to shake this before you open it. And we shook that thing and it went all over and uh, all over. <laughs> her daddy just died the life. And I remember that so well. I'll never forget that. He just, I just tickled him to death because we shook that thing and it went everywhere. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> they parted my growing up, but I, I don't blame my parents because they done the best they could do, and I'm thankful it learned us all the lessons. And I'll never forget my dad always would go to up to the mantel with where the lamp was at and read the Bible every night and pray. And every one of us children got saved before they passed away. So God was good to us. He looked after us, and I'm so thankful.